Relationship advice. Update. Family left me, 18 mil, when they thought I wasn't my dad's son but now they want to get back in touch. I don't think the technical details will matter a lot, so I'll get right down to business. Four years ago, dad found out my mom had a lifelong affair, more than one, but that's another story. He knew about a couple of affairs she had in the past and forgave her, hanging in there for the kids, moving on yada yada. But that time, four years ago, he found out me and my two siblings might not be his kids, considering the time of the affair. This was the first time we all heard of moms, well, everything really. There was a whole DNA thing and it turned out my siblings were my dads, and I was not. Cool right? So dad leaves mom, divorces her, moves out, takes both my siblings with him. Not me though. I stay behind with mom, who hits a new low finding herself alone, and we both become pretty much outcasts as far as most of the family is concerned. My older brother was particularly mean to me. We were really tight before, and the things he did to me, I swear, had I been bigger at the time, I would have punched him hard, more than once. I don't want to get into details because I can't since I could be recognized, but stuff happened and I got DNA again. And as it turns out, DNA number one was messed up and I am my dad's kid. Now, I don't need legal advice on this. Grandpa is the man, always had my back, we got a lawyer and are looking to settle. But dad wants back in my life. Brother is calling and wanting to meet up and talk stuff. I don't freaking want to. I want these people out of my life. Mom already forgave everyone. She is going on a date with my dad and I feel sick, but not my business right? I wish them both good freaking luck, but I want none of it. Only, nobody leaves me be. I keep hearing that they're family, and I ought to hear them out and give them a chance or I'll regret it later, and that the only reason I won't talk to them is because I'm a teen and stupid, or some other terrible explanation. Now for the top advice before reading the first update. I don't freaking want to. So don't. You are under no obligation to anyone. If you want to be no part or a distant part of their lives, that's your choice. Yep. OP's father is his father, but he already made it clear he has no desire to be a dad. I keep hearing that they're family, and I ought to hear them out and give them a chance or I'll regret it later, too bad they didn't give you the same consideration when they kicked you to the curb. Yeah, he got punished for his mother's actions, and even what little they accused him of didn't hold up. Worse. Both his parents are having a go at each other again. OP should lose more of his family. His father is terrible, his mother is, and his siblings apparently too. His grandfather seems cool though. I don't freaking want to. I want these people out of my life is a perfectly reasonable, understandable, rational perspective. You can also change your mind later. Your feelings are valid and deserve respect, whatever they are. And now for the first update. Thank you all for the advice, but I decided to go with my grandpa's, which was kind of the same most of you gave me, and I'll be standing my ground. I've been really annoyed lately cause a lot of people around me keep saying I'm a crazy teen and I'll regret it. But grandpa made a point that I need to stop trying to decide how I'll feel in the future. Cause truth is, you can never know. You have to make decisions now, based on feelings and info you have now. Not based on feelings and info you might have later. Right now. I'm disgusted by dad and my brother. I want nothing to do with them. I don't trust them. And I even think there is a chance they might be doing this, reaching out, just for optics and money. If my feelings change, I will deal with that when they do. Cross the bridge when I get to it and all. I wasn't really going to post an update on this, because I don't see the point. My story is kinda over. But something happened yesterday and I wanted to share. So I decided to stand by my heck no, I don't wanna talk to them. I'll be moving to another city soon and decided to change my number. Grandpa is the only one who will be having the new one. I asked him not to share and I know he won't. He is a retired cop, so he's really cool and has zero patience for BS. My new number is safe. He called my mom, and told her that from now on, if anyone wanted to reach me, they'd have to go through him. So, mom showed up at his place, I've been living with him for a while, and tries to talk to me, but grandpa says she has to talk to him first so he can decide whether she is allowed to talk to me or not. LOL, so mom goes insane, and starts telling him that it's none of his business and that this is between me and my dad, so grandpa goes something like, if anybody shows up at my lawn to disturb the boy, I'll get the cops, a restraining order and a shotgun. It goes on for a while until mom says, I'm not the only family grandpa has, and that by doing this, grandpa is pushing everyone away and splitting the family, 
he has other grandchildren, why is he picking just the one, and so on. So grandpa freaking laughs and tell her that through no fault of his, this family blew up long ago, and everyone just grabbed a piece of what was left and ran for it. He looks at me and says I'm his piece, so he's not letting go and mess it. I was feeling like laughing up to this point because mom was going crazy and all, but when he freaking said that, I broke. Mom left after a while and I just hugged my old man like life depended on it, and he just said something like, enough now. No need for that, I'm your family, family doesn't leave. You remember that when you have one of your own, and I freaking will. Edit, oh, before I forget. Some people were asking about what my siblings were like. Well, my older brother stole slash took things that were mine or supposed to be mine, he lied to me and about me, and not the innocent kid lie, but messed up stuff that ruined relationships I had with friends, family, even a girlfriend I cared about. He was a huge bully for years, even hit me once. Mom said he's going through a lot too, and dad couldn't care less and just protected him. Grandpa told him if he ever hit me again, he would break brother's teeth in. I guess he believed him, because he never touched me after the one time. Younger brother is cool, I'd rather not talk about him here. Another edit, I read the comments section to grandpa, I had to explain what OG is and he now wants to watch Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul lol, but we thank you for all the love. Reading the replies on my first post, he just said the internet is very smart, reading the replies on this update he got a little emotional and left saying he had stuff to do. But he got a beer, came back and asked if there were more people saying stuff. The comment comparing him to Clint Eastwood made his day. Thanks for the love guys. Now for some top advice before reading the last update. Your grandpa is OG. Spend every second you can with that man. And, even with everything that's happened, you should feel so happy and proud that you have him. Good luck dude. I freaking love him. I think we all freaking love him. Ask him about what his life has been like, and record it. Then, one day, you'll be able to show your own grandkids, if you have them who taught you to be an awesome grandpa. Ask him all kinds of things, what he thinks is the best thing he ever did, what he thought when X happened. Edit, my grandmother passed away in late August, a few weeks short of her 90th birthday. Sadly, she had dementia and I always thought there would be time. The stories I heard after she passed make me sad that I never got to know that side of her. She was a nurse in the 50s in a rural New South Wales town and used to purposely annoy the matron, so she'd get sent down to the river to look after the aboriginal patients. Matron thought it was a punishment, but Granny loved being out from under her thumb and loved taking care of the patients. Even years later, she still loved Aboriginal art. I'd love to know what her memories of her own grandmother were. Isabella Emma was the postmistress and had a nice splashy divorce, but remained a respected member of society, helped that hubby had already picked out her successor. There are so many things I wish I knew. If your grandparents and parents are alive, start interviewing and recording their memories now, even about the silliest things. Your grandpa saying that you're the piece he is keeping is freaking awesome. I'm glad you found a path and that you kept the best family member in your life. I almost cried when I read that line. Your grandpa is not only a bad at, he is incredibly wise. You are lucky to be his piece. And now for the final update. It is an act of God that I still remember the password to this throwaway, but heck guys. People you are not gonna freaking believe this. I don't freaking believe this. The lab didn't make a mistake on my results, what they did is they mixed the results of all children. I am my dad's bio son, but my older brother is not. Which is freaking weird cause he looks like dad, maybe mom has a type. Turns out it was his lab results stuff whatever with my name on it. He will be triple checking it now with another lab, but I mean, damn. The settlement has a confidential disclosure clause something on details, so I will not be speaking about this ever ever in all ever again because it's damn good money, so shush. But I had to share this because freaking funny. If anybody is keeping score, I now believe in karma. Now for some comments. Keep the settlement, bail on horrible family. You're an adult. Best perk of adulting is crafting your own family. Best perk of adulting is crafting your own family. Wow, I'm writing this down because this is so true and so wonderful. Oof, that's karma alright. Out of curiosity. Is your dad going to cut your brother out now that he knows that he's not his? Also, is your brother having a meltdown at knowing the truth? Oh I wish I knew. I moved away and I don't talk to them anymore. Just found out through grandpa. I am however overcome with joy. I'm glad you got a settlement. 
treating you like crap from 14 to 18 because he was told you were not biologically his son, is a horrible thing to do to you. You were just a teen and you had no choice in the circumstances in which you were conceived. The 14 years leading up to that had to count for something in his heart, but he chose to ignore it. I don't think I could forgive him for that. My grandfather walked out on my father's family when my father was 13. My father never forgave him, although he eventually came to terms with it. They never attempted to talk to each other. Now for the last story. I found out my father, 48 male, and I, 18 female, aren't related. He left the house and filed for divorce. By reading the title so far, you probably have a general sense of what has happened. My parents have been married for 20 years now and they were a great couple. I was born two years into their marriage and am an only child. In fact, you could probably describe their relationship to being as close as a fairy tale story. Obviously just like other relationships, there were ups and downs but they were always great together. They were the couple looks to and it was obvious that they were madly in love with one another. He also happens to be a great father. He's always been there for me, been supportive and loving. So about three months ago, I asked my dad if we could do a DNA test together just to compare our ancestry and where our past family comes from. You know the whole let's figure out how much of what I am. He agreed and we did the test. Long story short, it turns out that he isn't my biological father. We were both very shocked so we thought there must have been a mistake, so we took it again, and well, it wasn't. He wasn't my father. I didn't know what to say or do. Dad was furious and him and mom had a major fight that night where she confessed to sleeping with another man two years into their marriage, hence, that man being my biological father. I was so mad at mom and couldn't imagine how she could do this to me or dad. Anyways, my dad broke down and left the house an hour later, with my mother begging and pleading with him to stay. He filed for divorce about two weeks later and my mom was devastated. My dad left the house and apparently moved to another city altogether. He didn't even pack up most of his stuff. He just left. Fast forward to present day and it has been about 3 months since that incident. He calls me from time to time to check in and asks how I'm doing, but it just doesn't feel the same. I feel awful about what my mom did and what happened, but why is he acting different? I mean, I still think that he's my dad. He was there when I was first born, and when I fell off my bike for the first time. He has always been there and loved and supported me, but now he seems very distant even in our conversations. I still think of him as a father but I haven't really expressed my feelings to him. I don't want to scare him, especially since he isn't around me anymore. I feel like if I try to open up to him and tell him that I still love him and that I'm still his baby girl, he'll leave for good and distance himself from me forever. I understand that this is probably very hard for him, but he can't just leave me like this. How do I approach my father in our next conversation and express my feelings without pushing him away even further? Now for the top advice. Write a letter to thank him for everything he's done for you over the years, express you couldn't have asked for a better dad, tell him how much you miss and love him. A letter gives him the chance to feel his feelings, process and respond when he's calm. A letter is how I have often expressed the most difficult situations in my life where I need the other person to hear me out without interruptions or tangents. It has never failed me. Discussions are always calm and civil following the letter as well, which helps. I highly recommend it. Good luck to you. I'm sure this has all been a devastating blow. I feel like if I try to open up to him and tell him that I still love him, and that I'm still his baby girl he'll leave for good and distance himself from me forever. Why would he do that? Your mother cheated on him, and not you. Don't you think he hasn't thought about how horrible it was to you too? He probably has a hard time trying to figure out what to say to you. He may also think just as you are, that you don't want to talk to him. With all of this ancestry stuff. He probably thinks you want to hunt down your sperm donor and build a relationship with him instead. I would advise being proactive in approaching your dad with reassurance that you love him and don't care about the DNA. Also, mention that you will not be trying to find your biological father because you already have a real father, him. Awesome advice. I'm sure he is struggling right now because every time he looks or talks to OP, it reminds him of his ex's betrayal, and how she lied to him for almost 20 years. It doesn't sound like he's holding it against OP, just he doesn't know what to say when life as he knows it has turned upside down. Your mom may have cheated 16 years ago, but to him this is fresh. Like it happened yesterday. Compound that with finding out that fairy tale marriage he thought he had was not. His whole life for the last 16 plus years has been a lie. That's really hard on a person. Give him time. Stay close and connected. 
Continue to treat him like the father you always have and always will see him as. More than likely he will come around. Great dads don't just stop being great dads, even when something this traumatic happens. He just needs time. Totally agreed with this. He may not want to return to your mom, but you can still have a relationship, which may or may not be clouded about his feelings for the former. That is somewhat inevitable. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.